Very welcome to this video on Power BI Forest Board. What we're going to do in this video is that we're going to show you how you can, based on the data you're collecting every single day from the GPS, how we can calculate and create a player max speed table. So it's going to be a table that just keeps updating to find the highest max speed for a given player at any given moment. And by creating this table, you can use this to create the percentage of max speed reached in a given session, in a given game, or at any given moment. And that table just keeps updating. And it's not something you manually have to go and find the latest performance, the highest score, or anything like that. It's just completely automated. We build it now, and once you refresh the data, it's just going to loop through that and do the same thing. And what we are going to do is that, for example, maybe in this game cycle report, you would like to have, for example, the amount of, of a percentage of max speed that was reached in a given game, or maybe you should have a, a match or training report. So it can be in any given instance. It doesn't really matter the report. It's completely up to you how you're going to do it. What we will do, however, is just come into the transform data. And we're just going to see that we have three different tables. We have the individual games, we have the team games, and we have the GPS data. And what we will do here is that if you look here, I just modified a little bit and removed some columns. We have every single player for a given game or a given session. So we have a number of different sessions here. We have all the data here for the different day types. And we also have the max speed that was reached in that given session or game. And what we're going to do is very simple. We're just going to use this function called the group by function. And we're just going to use the basic one. And we're just gonna do it on a player level. So for every single player, generate the following column. And we're just gonna call this one max speed. We can call it kilometers per hour, meters per second, whatever you have as a unit. Then we're just going to select an operation. And that is essentially what it's going to do with that column. So with the column of max speed, it's going to find whatever max there is of all the entries. And it's going to give it that for every single player. So if we now just hit OK, we have the table already. So you can see here that we have the player full name, we have the max speed for every single player. If there was a new session, a new game added, and we select refresh, then we'll just do the same procedure. And if there is a new max speed for, let's say, Edward or David or John, it will just apply that because it will always take the max value. If you, for example, just wanted to have this for the games, you could essentially just filter down here to say, you know what, I just want this for match day. And now you only have match day data. And now you have that table only for match day. You could do the same for any other day that you wanted, multiple dates, whatever you preferred. If you wanted to keep the raw data, just remember you can duplicate or use the reference function to keep the other table because obviously now this GPS table only have this as an output. So if we close and apply this one, you will see that we have a much smaller GPS table than we had before. But that is anyway how you can create a reference table that contains for every single player the max speeds that ever reach through all, all the data that you have. You can of course filter down which dates you're looking at, so the last six months, etc., etc. It's completely up to you. We hope you found that video useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. We absolutely love uh, a thumbs up from you guys, so we will keep creating more videos for you. See you in the next video.